This is my Apple Watch Series 6, and I finally have gotten my hands on it. So, the Apple Watch uh, Series 6 came out two weeks ago, but I really didn't order mine at launch because of the new color options, to be very honest with you. It was kind of confusing to me. I didn't know which one to go with, but uh, after watching a couple of videos and looking at a few other people's watches, I finally settled on the blue one. So, I mean, it, it says blue, but it's very much so a very dark navy blue, like... Um, I think describing the color is a little hard in words, but it's a fantastic looking color and I'm hoping this is exactly what I want out of a uh, blue Apple Watch, but we'll see. So first things first, I mean the biggest difference now this year is really just the box size. Um, it's really a lot smaller than it used to be compared to like the Series 5, which I have right here. The Series 5 box was almost like twice as thick, but uh, this one is way less uh, fat. It's just really slimmed down. Uh, looks pretty good. It's more or less the same exact size of the Apple Watch SE box. Uh, you know, it looks pretty much the same in every other aspect. But here we have it, the Apple Watch Series 6 in blue, aluminum 44 millimeter. So uh, I ended up with the 44 millimeter because uh, I just... Uh, I, I've always gotten the larger one with my own, uh, the one that I wear all the time. So I think it's just uh, the right call there. Uh, and let's go ahead, open this up. So very similar on the back to the uh, Apple Watches of recent. You've got a pull tab instead of the, uh, you know, the lift up style box. Oops. Come on, there we go. Pulls away. And here we go, we're shown with the Apple Watch. And look at that, it's got this kind of blue accent thing going on, which looks super cool. Uh, just like, it's like black and blue finish there, it looks really nice. And then of course I ended up getting the Navy Sport Band. So uh, really the, the reality came down to being that the options were so limited for shipping in a more recent like in a quicker time frame so even this when i ordered it it said it was going to be delivered first week of october but uh, luckily enough i was able to get it shipped out uh and i got it today on the 28th of september instead of way into october there's still a lot of options that you can get you know with different bands and stuff that will take you way into uh, october and some i've even seen into november uh, so I just decided, you know what, the band doesn't really matter to me. It's just as long as I get the blue 44 millimeter, I'm good to go. The band is whatever. So putting the band to the side for a second, of course, you know, you've got the very, very nice, uh, touches here with the, uh, the cover here, which is just awesome. I love seeing this and they do change it every time. So it's not the same thing. Uh, just to give you guys a quick look. Let me grab the Apple watch SE's box, uh, which has a completely different design. And, you know, it just goes to show, you know, that attention to detail. So you guys can see Apple Watch SE has a completely different design compared to the um, the Apple Watch uh, Series 6. And then the Series 5 also had a different design completely. I'm not going to waste your time by showing you that. But trust me on that, it was different. Not the same thing. But, uh, you know, it just goes to show Apple definitely loves to put in that attention to detail here. So enough time on that. Let me move on and look at the watch itself. And, of course, you know... Apple being Apple, you've got a very clean box, nothing on the, uh, you know, sides and stuff. You've just got the Apple Watch on the front and then you've got a little bit inf of information on the back right here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is turn it over, lift it up and give you guys a closer look at what's going on right here. Pulls up and wow, look at that. You got a matching cloth cover or kind of uh, pouch that the Apple Watch comes in. So I ordered the blue one, so this is blue. I did see that the red ones came with a red one. So that's a nice touch. Me, oh wow, I almost dropped it, of course. So pulling it out is a lot harder than Apple Watches have before. So, okay, this is paper. This is not a uh, cloth pouch like it was on the Series 4 and 5. This is a much more, I think the only way to say it is it's cheaper material. It doesn't feel as nice as the ones of older but here we go. Here is the blue Apple Watch. And honestly, I am a big fan. Look at that finish. It looks absolutely amazing. Just love the way it's looking. All right, let me put this off to the side for one quick second. Let's look at what's inside. Uh, no surprises here. I know exactly what's in here. You've got your uh, power cable and you've got a little bit of documentation that comes in here. 
Again, nothing that interesting, just two pieces of uh, paper in here, and then you've got your charger right over here. No power cable, you know, they did remove that, so that's no longer going to be provided with your Apple Watch. You're gonna have to buy it on your own if you want a power adapter. But with that being said, let me grab the case and show you guys what that, I'm sorry, the band and show you what that looks like. So this is the Sport band. So I know that the Sport loop and the uh, nylon loop, they're the two new ones, but I didn't get those because one, uh, it's looking like the sizes on those are a lot more uh, harder to nail than uh, Apple has alluded to. And honestly, I just thought that if I'm going to get that, I'll just go in store, try them on, and then decide which size fits me the best instead of ordering one, having it not fit, and then having to return it and do that whole shtick. I'd much rather just, you know, whenever Apple stores do eventually open back up, I'll go there and figure it out based on that. So let's pull out the watch band. So again, you know, very Apple-esque packaging. They do a, a very good job with it. You know, even for just a band, they, they go to a lot of effort. And this does seems to be a very uh, matching kind of color for the Apple Watch. You know, let me just uh, put the watch right next to it and uh, pretty decent match. Sure, this is a little bit more flat of a color, whereas this is more metallic and reflective, but uh, not bad. I think it should sit pretty well. Let me pull out the sport loop here. I'm sorry, the sport band, not the loop. And, you know, the sport uh, loop also, What another thing that uh, I was, even though if I would have considered it, the, the reality was that those are shipping way, way later than uh, the ones with sport bands or the uh, other bands, other options that were available. So honestly, the fastest one, if you guys are looking to order one right now, um, I, I compared all the models on the creator website on the build your own style and the fastest one that seemed to be shipping were the ones with these sport bands. So uh, if you're going to get one, I say get this one because it's going to ship the fastest. All right. So that took a lot of effort to put in. All right, there we go. Apple Watch is set and it is turning on. So I'm just gonna give it a second. And what I'm gonna do now is set it all up real quick, give it a couple of minutes, and then I'll come back to you guys with a quick overlook, first impression, and a quick comparison to my existing Series 5. All right, guys, so I finally have my Series 6 set up and so far things are looking really good. I am loving the new watch faces on Watch OS 7. Uh, especially this GMT one. It, it is so cool and it gives you a lot of cool things. I love this kind of world map, world time thing. It's just so cool. Like uh, overall, really cool watch bands. You got this, you got another artwork one where it changes. There's so many cool ones. There's chronograph, uh, there's stripes. There's even more that I can't remember right now. Overall, this is just a really cool uh, Apple Watch update. And uh, talking about the update, let's just talk about some of the changes on this watch. So of course, you know, one of the uh, newer things with this watch is definitely this color. Uh, it looks really good. Uh, I can't, uh, you know, it's it's kind of at some angles when you look at it, it looks kind of dark, like it's black. But then, you know, of course, uh, when light hits it, it's, of course, undeniably blue. So I think that if you're kind of scared that this is a lighter blue and it'll be a it'll kind of clash and just not work with anything, I think that you're pretty much OK as long as uh, you know, you've got uh, dark colors to go along with it. Not too bad. I'm pretty sure that most bands will work with it well as well. You know, nothing will, of, of course, work as well as black, but, you know, uh, this isn't too far off. The one annoying thing I definitely find is that, uh, look at that crown. It, it's black. So it could be blue. I have no idea why Apple uh, has this as black on everything. Even on the product red, this is black. I don't know why. It's It, it could be color mash. They just don't do it. Uh, weird places where they don't pay attention to detail. Uh, on the back, very cool looking. Uh, so this does have the new uh, blood oxygen sensor. And just to show you guys a little bit of a comparison uh, of the sensors with the Series 5, let me grab that really quick. So right alongside, here is the Series 6 and here's the Series 5. Uh, one thing you will notice is that they look a little bit different on the bottom part. Uh, the sensors are definitely a little bit changed up. So you guys can see they're like little lines on this one, whereas this uh, is just like circles surrounding the uh, main sensor. But, uh, you know, the size of them is very similar. Uh, that in that department, they're pretty similar, but uh, definitely like the design of them and they're clearly very different sensors. So I'm pretty sure this definitely has something to do with that O2 uh, monitor now that it's being built in. So. Uh, talking of that O2 monitor, let me put this on my wrist and show you guys what uh, the uh, O2 monitor looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the 
blood oxygen app right here and uh, it does tell you to make sure that it is snug on your wrist because if it's not it's not going to give you an accurate reading so let me hit start it takes 15 seconds not too long the ecg takes way longer it takes 30 seconds but 15 seconds goes by quickly and this does actually uh, keep scanning every couple hours kind of like your heart rate uh, so you don't have to manually do it to get a data point this just keeps doing it on its own so there we go 97 percent uh, the higher the better as far as I understand with blood oxygen so this is a pretty decent result now uh, beyond that really there's no exclusive feature to this that makes it stand out everything you get on this you got on the series 5 as well besides that blood oxygen meter the always on display is just a little bit brighter but from what I could tell so far, I really can't tell. Maybe outdoors in the direct sunlight, there will be a little bit of a difference, but so far looks really similar. So that's my initial impression of the Apple Watch Series 6. I'm loving it so far. And if you're thinking about getting one, I really don't think there's much wrong with this watch. So if you are if you want one, get one. It's an awesome watch. Uh, the new blue color is great too. So if you're on the fence about that, uh, I highly say go for it. It looks good. And uh, it's uh, definitely something I took a risk on. I was leaning towards the space gray, but this looks pretty nice as well. So that's it for this one, guys. If you have any more questions, uh, feel free to ask down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow me on social media. I'll have all the, uh, the handles right on screen here. And of course, down in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.